Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to do a video on all the makeup products that I am thankful for because it's actually Thanksgiving in Canada today when I'm filming this. So my sister came up with the idea that I should film a video on products that I am thankful for. Basically like some of my favorite all-time makeup products from the drugstore. Some of them are newer finds and then some of them are just old classics that I really love. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'm just gonna go ahead and get started. I have to film this video quite fast today because we actually actually have guests coming over. I'm gonna kind of go through this as fast as I can without skipping any details. It also smells like pumpkin spice latte in my room right now because of this beautiful new candle I got. It smells so good in here. I wanna start off with foundations that I really, really love. The first one is this old classic that is one of my favorites. This is the Rimmel Lasting Finish 24, 25 hour foundation. I have mine in the shade 200 Soft Beige. This is just a go-to foundation for me. It has really good coverage. It lasts all day and I think it looks really good on my skin. I've loved it for a long time now. Next foundation is a little bit of a newer discovery but it quickly became a favorite and this is the e.l.f. Acne Fighting Foundation. The one I'm holding right now is in the shade Buff. This one also has really good coverage. It doesn't have the longest staying power, but if you set it with a powder on my skin, it lasts a pretty decent amount of time. It has all these like beneficial ingredients to help with your skin. I discovered it this year and I use it on the daily basis. It's also like $6 and it comes with more product than a regular foundation, so it's an amazing deal. I'm also really thankful for this foundation by Revlon. This is their Color Stay Whipped foundation and this is in the shade 320 warm golden. I love this foundation especially in the summertime because it is so long lasting even if you get sweaty and hot in the summer this one is not going to come off your face. I actually want to get a lighter shade so that I can wear it in the winter as well. It also has extremely good coverage. I just feel so confident when I wear this foundation. There's just makeup everywhere on the little table in front of me so I'm just going to try and go in some kind of order here. Next favorite makeup product that I have is the RCMA No Color Powder. I don't know where you can actually buy this. I think I bought mine off Beautylish and I ended up buying a backup with it as well um, because these only cost 10 to $12, which is so cheap because you're getting three ounces of product. I never really purchased loose powder from the drugstore. Actually, this is the only loose powder that I own. So I'm so thankful that it's actually a good affordable loose powder. I don't think I'm ever going to need another powder. Once I go through this, I have another bottle and it's just gonna last a really long time. It just makes my face so smooth. It sets my foundation. It lasts all day and it's just a really good setting powder. And the next powder is actually a pressed powder and this is from Rimmel. This is their Stay Matte Long Lasting Pressed Powder. I even hit pan on this. I love it that much. This is just in the shade Transparent. Nothing keeps my face more matte than this powder. I use it to set my T-zone. I use it a lot in the summer because it just was so good at keeping your oils at bay. And it's just a good powder and I'm so grateful I have it in my collection. If you like to even just set your T-zone, which is what I do, this is the way to go. Moving on to sort of like contouring, bronzing palettes. The first one is one that should come as no surprise to you guys. This is the e.l.f. Contouring Palette. It's just an awesome awesome deal at the drugstore. I think it's like $8. You're getting four different colors. It's such a good affordable palette. I talked about it in my fall essentials video, so I'm not going to talk too much about it, but I just love this. I think it is so worth the $8 and would definitely recommend it. They also have a deeper shade. I'm wearing this one on my face today, actually. It's really really good. Definitely grateful for it. The next kind of face palette that I really love is this one from Rimmel. This is their Sculpting Trio, I think. What is it called? It doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure this is like their Sculpting Face Trio. It has a highlighter, a contour, bronzer, and a blush. I love this. I mainly use it in the summer because as you can tell, the bronzer is really really dark and deep, but it's so good. The powders are so nice. Highlighter shade is beautiful and the blush is amazing and it's perfect for traveling. It's typically what I grabbed in the summer when I just needed to throw something into my makeup bag. Love any type of like multitasking face trios. I think they are so convenient and they just make life so much easier. So that's why I love this one. I do have a couple blushes that I am extremely grateful for. First one is the Milani 
Baked Blush in the shade Rose Doro. I also talked about this in my Fall Essentials video. I talk about this pretty often actually because it's such a good formula and this color is beautiful. It does have sparkles in it, but they don't really translate onto your cheeks. This gives your face that warm flush that's so pretty in the fall, but also in the summer. And I just love the formula. They are a little bit dry, but they look beautiful on the cheeks. This is like my all-time favorite blush as well, so I just wanted to include it because I'm so grateful I tried this guy out. And the next blush that I really love is the one from NYX. It's just one of their powder blushes and it's in the shade Terracotta. This is perfect for the summer. It's the perfect bronzy sheen. I love it. It's definitely a favorite. I also have two highlighters that I have really been loving lately and just in general. The first one is probably my favorite drugstore highlighter and this is the e.l.f. Baked Blush in the shade Pink Tastic. This is an incredible highlighter. I know it's called a baked blush, but it's too pale for me to work as a blush, so I just use it as a highlighter. It has the most amazing sheen to it. It just looks stunning on your cheeks. I feel like I don't need any other highlighters in my collection because this one just does it for me and it just looks so, so good. It's so blinding and highlighting, but it still looks natural on your face. It just kind of makes your skin look wet. It's it's stunning. And the second one is the one I'm wearing on my cheeks today. I've just been loving this highlighter lately. I pulled it back out and started using it um, now that it's getting to fall and colder seasons. And this is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter in the shade Be My Highlight. This one also just looks really natural and glowy. There's no sparkles in it. It just has that nice reflective lit from within type of glow. It just makes my skin look so much better now that it's getting drier and colder. And it's so affordable. I think it's like $4. It's probably the best deal you'll find at the drugstore given the size of it. Okay, I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes. I ended up including just both matte eyeshadow palettes because I honestly wear mattes more often than shimmer eyeshadows. I do have some metallic eyeshadows that I really like, but I figured that this is like my products that I'm super thankful for and I'm more likely to use matte shadows. This first one is the e.l.f. Matte for Matte Eyeshadow Palette. This is their second version and it's called Summer Breeze, I believe. I was gonna include their third one called Holy Smokes, but I've talked about that one so much in recent videos. Like I pretty much talk about it in every single video. So I wanted to just change it up and include this one instead because it's also really good, a really great formula. I like all three of the e.l.f. Matte for Matte palettes. I think they are probably the best matte eyeshadow formula at the drugstore. I'm just so thankful that e.l.f puts out affordable products. They're $10, you're getting how many shades? 10 shades. There are a lot of good eyeshadow palettes at the drugstore. I did a whole video on them, but for solely matte shades, I think the e.l.f. matte for mattes are the best. The next eyeshadow palette I want to share with you is also all mattes. It's actually the one I'm wearing on my eyes today. It's a very new to my collection, but I really, really like it and would definitely recommend it. And it is the NYX Lid Lingerie Palette. It has so many good neutral matte shades in here. I'm just, I just know I'm going to be reaching for this on the daily basis. You can just toss any of these into your crease or onto your lid and put a look together. The formula is good. They blend out really, really nicely. They have really good pigmentation. They're very smooth and buttery. I just love this palette. I did have one mascara I want to throw in. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. I know everybody talks about this, but it is a really good mascara. It is a little bit pricier than some other mascaras at the drugstore. If I had one, I actually ran out of mine, but the Maybelline Lash Sensational in like the pinky tube that looks like this, I would have included that mascara, but I actually don't own one. I haven't repurchased it yet. So I thought I would include this because I think this one is really good. And the last products are all lip products. I'm gonna start off with a lip liner that I absolutely love. This is my favorite lip liner of all time. And this is the NYX lip liner. It's like one of their pencil, pencil ones. And this is in the shade Ever. This is the perfect nude on my skin tone. If you have the same complexion and skin tone as mine, I would totally recommend you pick up the shade ever. It is stunning. Great formula, creamy, glides on. It's just such a good 
lip liner. I think this is like the only nude lip liner I need because I love it so much. And I do have kind of just formula likes that I wanted to talk about. Some of these aren't like my favorite shades out of the range, but they are my favorite formula at the drugstore. Some of them are my favorites actually. The first one is the Maybelline Creamy Matte Lipsticks. I love the Creamy Matte Lipsticks and I especially like the shade in Touch of Spice. This is the perfect mauve nude shade for the fall time and I honestly wear it year round. It's got red undertones, but it still pulls a little bit more mauve. It is matte, but it doesn't feel incredibly drying on my lips at least. Maybelline just makes some of the best drugstore lipsticks, so I wanted to include one from the Creamy Matte Collection because it's a really good collection of lipsticks. I also have the Maybelline Loaded Bold Lipsticks. The one I have here is in the shade Mauve it. This is the perfect mauve for the fall time. It's a very deep mauve. It has more hints of purple in it, uh, almost like a purpley gray undertone. I love the Loaded Bolds from Maybelline. I almost like this formula better than the Creamy Mattes just because they are so comfortable, pigmented, and long lasting. The only downside, I guess, you could say is that they're not matte. They do have a sheen to them, but the shade selection is amazing. The stain power is amazing and they don't dry at my lips. Probably say this is one of my like favorite Maybelline like range that Maybelline has out there. So definitely recommend any of the shades in the Loaded Bolds collection. From Milani, this is one of my favorite drugstore formulas as well. And this is the Milani Moisture Matte Lipsticks. And the one I have here is in the shade Matte Confident. If you want that deep brick red, this is the way to go. And the Moisture Mattes are so comfortable. They're just such a great formula. They smell like vanilla. They smell really good and they feel good on your lips. They look good on your lips. I'm really, really grateful Milani has these because they're just such a great lipstick formula that it is affordable. And then for the last like lipstick lipstick I have is the CoverGirl and Katie Cat Matte Lipsticks. These I think are some really good formula and the shade that I have here is my favorite in the line. It is in the shade Couture Tricot Griffs. The formula is more of like a demi matte finish but it feels moisturizing on your lips. It does have a pretty good staying power and it's just a comfortable lipstick for the colder weather when your lips start getting cracked and dry. I couldn't do a favorites video without including this. Okay, I just have three different liquid lipstick formulas to share with you today. The first one isn't extremely long lasting, but it is really comfortable for a liquid lipstick and it is the NYX Lingeries. I have this one that I'm holding right now is in the shade After Hours. It's kind of like a grayish brown. It's really, really beautiful, perfect for the fall time. So I thought I would talk about these because they aren't super long lasting, but I find that, that I reach for them more and more as it gets colder and my lips start getting uh, dryers. They don't transfer, they dry down completely matte. The only downside, like I said, is the staying power, but for a non-drying liquid lipstick, I think these are the way to go. And then I have two new liquid lipstick formulas that have quickly, like right away, basically became my favorite lipstick, liquid lipstick formula from the drugstore. The first one is the lipstick I'm actually wearing on my lips right now. These are the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Lipsticks. The one I'm wearing right now, which is a beautiful dark reddish shade. This is in the shade Voyager. These last forever on my lips. They dry down. They do take a little bit longer to dry. They're kind of sticky, but they do dry down completely matte. They don't transfer at all, and they're just really good liquid lipsticks from the drugstore. So I hope Maybelline comes out with more shades because I do love the formula of these if you want to try out some dark, vampy lips for fall. I would totally recommend picking up one of these. And then the last is probably my favorite liquid lipstick formula at the drugstore. And these are the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks. This is in the shade Milk and Cookies. I was wearing this in my September favorites video. It's like a taupey gray shade. It is really, really nice for the fall time. I love these types of like grayish shades. This formula is so, so good. It lasts forever on my lips. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't feel drying. The only downside I think is that it doesn't look completely matte on your lips. It's got a little bit of a sheen to it. Kind of almost looks like a lacquer, but it doesn't feel like one. It just feels very comfortable. It feels matte. And I'm so grateful that we have a good liquid lipstick that's going to last and not move anywhere on your lips all day at the drugstore now. So thank you, L'Oreal. And that sums up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it was really quick and spontaneous. I had not thought of doing it until like 20 minutes ago when I started filming. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you in my next one. Bye.